Hola, bienvenue, Michel. Welcome to my channel. Today I am showing you my favorite jewelry pieces at the moment, and I'm wearing a few of them. So I really like ancient Roman style jewelry. This is by a company called Zeze, and these are gold plated brass earrings. Very Princess Jasmine looking. Um, very lightweight and eye-catching when you have hair like mine like really voluminous thick hair earrings can easily get lost in your hair I have had earrings entangled if they're too small or if they're too not bright enough they just my hair will take over and envelop the earrings so they have to be eye-catching and these are perfect they're not too big and they're great even for every day and they also go with my existing jewelry, as you can see. Here are some of my favorite Ottoman, like Turkish brass pieces. Um, most of these pieces are by one of my favorite jewelry companies called Ottoman Hands. This is Kassedini and a feather bangle. I'll put it on for you and show you. I have really small wrists, so I have to really tighten the cuffs so that they, they don't like kind of fly around on my wrist and then this is another one with labradorite and brass also by Oshman hands and I put this on this and I have to basically completely close it or it's just like kind of banging around my wrist see it's completely closed and it's still it's perfect it's fine as long as cuffs or bangles don't like kind of travel around your wrist or come off your hands then it's a good size i personally like them to be qu quite fixed so they're not constantly moving up and down it's different if you have like indian juria sets because you know they're supposed to move around but these bangles they're quite heavy actually not heavy but they're quite rigid i should say and because of the nature of the way they're made you can really feel them um they're not like the most comfortable if they're just like moving around all the time they're not like the the thin churia or bangles like um, the Indian style. So this is a Kalsadani um, and cultured pearl ring that completely matches my bangle. I love this so so much and it's one of my favorite rings. I usually put it on my middle finger on my left hand. I'm wearing just like my silver rings. This set I love this set. This was like a three set I got at um, TJ Maxx. They came with this one, this one, and this one. They're so pretty. I really like this one because it's got like stones all the way around. So it's perfect for the thumb because you can like see them regardless if it travels around like that. And then this one my auntie got me in Canada. And then this one was my recent purchase. It looks like a real snake and it's adjustable. And that one was from TJ Maxx. I'll show you the way this one looks on. I usually like to wear it pointed downward so you can see that's the way it looks on. And it matches my cuff. Don't mind my messy hair, it's crazy today. Woo! <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and then this. I love this so much. This was actually molded after a real ancient Roman coin and you can just tell. It just looks so authentic because it was authentic. Even though it's not the actual coin, it was it was molded after the coin. It says Constantine or something. This is also by Ottoman hands and it's placed in this gorgeous setting. It was actually a longer necklace that kind of hung down like really low. And I shortened it, so the medallion hangs kind of like between my collarbone, like that. It's so beautiful, I love it a lot. And my most recent purchase um, of jewelry, I have to put my hair up for this, and I'm gonna take out these earrings so I can show you exactly what the set looks like. I'm just gonna put 
I paused it because my hair is just, I didn't want you guys to. Okay, I placed my hair up, kind of messy. Don't mind the messiness. I just wanted to show you what this Got set it looks like on offer on Poshmark. And it was so dirt cheap. It was like, I think originally it was listed at like 30 or 25 or something. And the seller offered $11 because she saw me watching it. And it's so sweet. It came in a really nice plastic kind of box. It's got these little clips to lock it. So pretty. I really like this set because it looks very ancient. You guys know me, I, I swear it's just like all the ancient empire jewelry just calls out to me. I don't know why, I just have to have it. I feel like it's mine all mine so anytime I find a piece that resembles something like that I have to have it if you watch the film gladiator you can see a lot of the women wearing this style like it's kind of square with a triple row of pearls or jewels or, or pearls or something and um, so you can see <laughs> look how pretty and you put this on I really like Indian earrings a lot because the prong is thicker, it's more substantial, whereas a lot of Western style earrings, the prong is very, the prong is very thin and I feel like it's going to break, but Indian earrings, it just feels very substantial. I have two holes in my ear and I always use the second ones because they kind of stick out more because my ears are quite, I'm lucky I don't have like ears that stick out, my ears are quite flush, but I feel like the first ones, you can't see them. So the second ones, they, they're they out a little more so you can see them. And then this is the necklace. Look how beautiful this piece is. I love the antique gold color. Most Indian jewelry has that. It's like a choker style. Very royal looking. I love it so much up the brightness on my ring light it's getting a bit dark now and then the tika again similar style with three rows the struggles that come with thick hair I'm not complaining at all I feel very fortunate to have thick hair but I won't I'll be lying if I said it didn't come with struggles Lots of fighting with my parents about my hair in the mornings. So yeah, this is the Indian set. I just love this set a lot because it's not over the top. There's some sets that can only really be worn to weddings or really lavish events or galas. This set is gorgeous and it is dressy looking but it's not so over the top where you can't wear it to dinner or on a normal day and the earrings are still subtle enough that they could be worn daily. I love this set. Um, I know I've said that a million times, but it's probably one of my favorite jewelry sets to date. Um, yeah. It's funny because I absolutely love jewelry, but I hate most of the jewelry I see. So when I do see something I love, I like have to absolutely have it and grab it because it's so rare for me to like a set. I'm so, discriminating in my taste um, of what I like and what I don't like. I have very strong opinions on, on my aesthetics and what I wear. So yeah, this is my current favorite set. So I just took it all off and I just wanna show you one last time how beautiful. <laughs> okay, speaking of tikas, I actually have a tikka, small little tikka collection, like some of my favorite pieces and there's a lot of sentimental value behind these pieces as well. So this is actually the original box one of my exes from a long time ago, his mother gave me. And this was her tika she wore for her engagement. And she wanted to pass it down to me. I was like a daughter to her, so forever I will cherish this piece. I think the hardest thing about, since we're on the topic, right, I'll spill some tea. I think the hardest thing about breaking up with a guy is divorcing yourself from his family. I won't say divorce, we weren't married, but we were about to get married, but um, I was super young. I was like 19 years old and um, I got very close with his family and I was more upset about leaving his family than I was leaving him. But this 
is what she wore for her like, I think she wore it for her Mendy, some one of the bridal functions before she got married. So it was like for her engagement stuff. So has real pearls and it's just absolutely stunning and has a lot of sentimental value, even though, you know, of course I don't talk to his family anymore. She said, I'll always be welcome um, at their households. I don't want to start crying right now. <laughs> this happened so long ago. But I'll forever cherish this piece because I loved her so much and I'll always care about his family. And I wish him well, obviously, but his family were amazing. So yeah, they were so good and kind to me. Um, this tika was given to me by his aunt, married to his uncle. So this was worn for her sons, her second son, who I was really close to. He was such, he was the most adorable child. And I used to babysit him and I was his favorite Didi. I was his favorite like older sister. And um, she wore this for his like, his baby shower, like his one month. Usually in a lot of Asian culture, there's a one or two month shower for the baby. So this is what she wore and she handed it down to me. So, yeah. <sighs> this okay. is um, what I used to wear when I performed Bollywood style dances at events. It's just a very fake, over the top, dika, very elaborate, very heavy. Um, not the most comfortable one, but. And this is just like a cheapy kind of silver dika, like whatever, never really worn it. And this is another one of my favorites. It's it's also kind of a square style, antique finish gold, really cute. See? <laughs> and this one is like a cheap, cheap one, like a super cheap one. It doesn't even hang properly. It's just, I've never worn it. Maybe I'll give it to someone. But I mean, it is pretty, but compared to my other high quality tikas, like Actually, all of these tikas fit in this tiny little box and there's probably room for a few more, so. Really high quality Dolce & Gabbana jewelry box. She kept that Zika in, so I've always kept it in this box at, at the same time. Okay. And next we will move to another pair of brass earrings. Why do I love brass so much? Well, for one thing, Hamad brass was very popular with um, imperial jewelry in a lot of different empires, ancient empires around the world, like the Roman Empire, um, the Persian Empire, Indian Empire, like Chinese Empire, like everyone loved, the royal loved brass. It has the and I think gold, it doesn't, like, it doesn't lose its color. color. Like you can always clean brass and it will get a nice gold finish again. All brass is zinc and copper zinc. alloy. So that's pure brass and it's actually good for you. Like since I started wearing it, I know it sounds absolutely insane. Um, I never used to get headaches, right? But when I started my birth control, I started getting these raging headaches and I never had headaches. My whole life I've never had them. And I didn't even realize, but I was wearing a lot of brass. I started wearing it at the time and suddenly I realized my headaches were going away. And I looked it up and indeed, like the copper and the zinc help headaches and different ailments in the body. And it's because Birth control fucks with your like mineral levels and your hormone levels and stuff, right? Obviously it kind of messes up your levels a bit in your body and often lack of zinc and, in, and copper in your system can lead to headaches. So oddly this brass stuff works. It's the same as wearing copper, I guess, but I don't like the color of copper. So yeah, these are some of my favorite earrings. Also they're very cute and they shine so they can stand out in my black mass of hair. This is my most expensive piece of jewelry to date. It was a gift um, from my father for my 21st birthday. He helped me um, go around to different Asian gold shops and I picked out a chain and then I picked out a pending. They were from two different stores because I'm picky as hell and he went with me everywhere to find a pendant that I loved. This was the only one that I loved because look at the detail and depth of it. It's got so much detail, it's kind of cute. It looks kind of like a wedding necklace in my culture but whatever. And the chain is so unique, diamond cut, is thick and it's one of my favorite pieces not just because he bought it for me but it's gorgeous and i love it love love it um i don't wear it every day because it's super expensive too um i think altogether it must have cost him um 1500 2000 
something like that. It's heavy. So yeah, that's my most expensive and fanciest uh, piece to date. Okay, and in this box, I have like my metal kind of tribal-ish looking collection. Um, here I have these two bayas, which I used to dance in, these Indian bell anklets. They're not expensive, but I love that they don't tarnish and they don't like age. They look so good. I got these ages ago when I was a teenager and I used to dance in them, so have kept them because they've lasted. And then I have this set, which my best friend at the time at uni had given me. It's also from India. And it has these matching earrings. Got some weight to them. And you can see the prong there, such high quality. Love Indian earrings sets like this, the traditional set, but look at that. It's because it's a bit more modernized because of the color, you can wear it. I guess it's a little more versatile than the gold one. Less elaborate, but still beautiful. And this is a much more simpler bayal, but it's beautiful. And I love how it's a square cut. Is it a square cut? Box, box cut? Is it a box cut chain? I think that's what it's called. But I love it. And I used to have two. I bloody don't know what happened to the other one, but <laughs> I still have this one. More brass pieces, of course. Okay. These are definitely more modern. They are like heart hoops. And I love them because they're very thin, they're very light. They are so large, but still thin. You can still see them in my hair. I'll show you. See? <laughs> They still stick out in my hair. They're still seen. They catch the light. But a little more, you know, kind of cool, funky looking earrings. So yeah. these will remain one of my favorite, favorite pair of earrings. They're from Juicy Couture. Brass, pure brass. So this is the way they look. And they look so elegant, don't they? Just love them. I've still yet, I've never seen another person with these. Unique and gorgeous. This is by a Turkish designer. Also hammered brass and it has authentic turquoise and pearls. I got it in New York City at this boutique. Love it. This is probably my favorite silver necklace, I should say. I'm in love with this style. I love Lariat. And um, I like how the chain is very, it's like paperclip style chain. And there's a bee. I love bees. They're so important for the ecosystem. And it's like anatomically correct. It's got all this, like the legs and everything. It's so cute. I just love this necklace a lot. <laughs> Makes me happy every time. The underbelly of the bee. So that's the front. And that's the underside where you can see the little legs. Let's see if you can see that. Little legs. <laughs> so cute. Um, the airport uh, in, in the Netherlands. And it's gorgeous, perfect for shopping. And they had this like gorgeous tie, jewelry stand, and everything was 95 sterling silver. The prongs are thicker as well, just high quality diamond cut silver. Um, I love diamond cut jewelry because the way they catch light catches light like a jewel. So again, they stick out against the dark mass of my hair and they catch the light and they're simply just stunning. They're gorgeous. I love them. I get compliments on them all the time. And you can see the design. see the design here it's beautiful <laughs> she when
when she wants to come into my room, she 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 pounds on the door with her paw. Right, she claws on the door. Right, and to say hi to everyone. And say hi. Okay, we're gonna put the camera lower so they can see your gorgeous face, my darling. Okay. She is, there she is, look at her. Look at my princess. Look at my gorgeous princess. Do you want to show a necklace, the next one? Okay, so this, look, it looks like a, oh, looks like a tika on you. How beautiful. Look, look, you look like a princess. <laughs> look how gorgeous. Nova. Nova, wow. <laughs> and then, oh, look at the necklace, how beautiful. Because you've got ebony hair like mummy. Look, and it sh shines. <laughs> okay, so um, this necklace I got at TJ Maxx. It's a hand of Hamsa. <gasps> Thank you, my darling. She never kisses me. <gasps> Thank you, oh, you're so sweet. Thank you for the kisses. Okay. Has a hand of hamsa and some crystals and it has like a diamond cut ball spheric chain. So it, oop, it looks really, really pretty. You can see really pretty, right? Look how gorgeous that looks on you, my love. And it was only like, what? Like $16 or something. This is the last Tiffany piece I own. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? This is the double heart blue, the Pantone blue um, return to Tiffany ring. Because my fingers are so small, it's very hard for me to find rings that fit. Um, I have sold all my Tiffany pieces except for this one. I think these go for four to five hundred now. But I've kept it because it's a really hard piece to find. And I just, I loved the double heart style when it came out, so I decided to keep it. <laughs> um, then these bracelets, they're like the drawstring style bracelets. These came in a set of three. Um, evil eye protection, blue opal, and also gold plated brass. Hand of Hamsa, and worn all together, they look really beautiful. But the annoying thing is because my wrists are kind of small, um, they kind of easily come undone. Maybe I'll get, I do have a jeweler friend, maybe I'll get him to just apply clasps to them instead of these drawstrings. Even though the drawstrings are so pretty, I'm having to constantly like tighten them all the time. But let me show you the way they look. Hold on, my love. But that's how they look. Okay. Is that all? Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me for my jewelry collection. And I hope you enjoyed Nova's little cameo. And if you have any questions whatsoever about any of the pieces that you saw today, please leave a comment below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.